You can't just walk in here and put a gun in my face. I'm trying to get a manicure. I have witnesses. I have a witness, too. It's murder one this time. Now you're mine. The son of a bitch handcuffed me to a dead man. A dead man. Come on, sit down. I am. Now, did Danny ever say what Crisp's wife looked like? And did he ever say what name she was using in Oregon? He didn't say anything. Oh, look, I just want to get out of here and go home. Yeah. Right after the lineup. We'll be driving home afterwards. No. I'll even buy you dinner. No. Come on, Cindy, I'll even cook you dinner. What do you say? I'm not doing any lineup. That's what I say. And there ain't jack shit you can do about it. Now, let me out of here. I've been after Chris for four years, and she's going to let my key witness walk her out of here. I'm going to... Kimbo, here. sit down. Hey, sit down. Sit. Sit. you, Cindy. I'm gonna be around you a lot. Days, nights, weekends, holidays. No, no, you can't. Yes, 
I can. I'm gonna hang out with you until the end of time. All right, moving in. Let's go. Step out to the numbers. Face front. Everybody hands to your side. That's the creep. Who? Number five. into custody until your trial. Bailiff, remove the prisoner. Shh, don't say anything. Just take it easy. I'll take care of it. Trust me. You know what to do. I'm your mother, aren't I? suppliers and distributors, and I'll tell the judge what a nice cooperative killer you are. You think the jury is going to convict me on the testimony of that junkie? Could be right. But what about your wife? You remember her? All that hard-earned drug money she stole from you. How much was it? Three million dollars? Much better witness. Kimball, you wasted years chasing after me, and what has it gotten you? Hmm? Nothing. I'll be out of here in a week, and you'll still be eating takeout food in that dump you live in. Yeah, I know all about you, Kimball. Without me, you wouldn't even have a life. My old lady left because of the money. Yours left because she just couldn't stand the sight. I've never seen anyone so little eat so much. Yeah, I know. I'm hypoglycemic. If I don't eat regularly, I get a little nuts. Paul, oh. where are you from? Austria. How long have you been a cop? I've been a cop for 12 years. Father was a cop, brother was a cop, mother was a cop's wife. And I have no hobbies. Good news. Okay. You two are booked on the first flight out to Portland tomorrow morning. Now, I want you to locate Crisp's wife and offer her immunity in exchange for a testimony against him. No offense to Hallahan. This is my case, and I work alone. <laughs> he works alone. Not anymore. She's going in undercover as a substitute kindergarten teacher. Not exactly a job for you. I was a teacher before I joined the force. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. So what do I do? She locates the kid, you find the mother in the cash, and Crisp spends the best years of his life making license plates. Bon voyage. Oh, I'm Kimball. The name's O'Hara. Okay, here's the wife at 17. Real name's Rachel Maya. She's from Hannibal, Missouri, class of 76. She's a cheerleader, first violin in the school orchestra, and captain of the girls' softball team. Her ambition was to travel, experience life, and meet interesting people. Chris. Yeah. Okay. Relax. Don't let him get to you. That's her, ten years later. It was a great shot for the year. Did you get in touch with your parents? No, they're both dead. The only relative she's got left is the kid. This is the only picture we have of him. Colin Jr., age three months. That helps, Mitch. It's the best I could do, okay? Breakfast, sir? Ma'am? Please. No. No. That's the first. Listen, I was just thinking, maybe we should take a wild stab at getting to know each other before we have to pretend we're man and wife. What do you want to know? Well, how long have we been married? A long time. Where people don't expect us to talk much to each other. Hey, give me that. Mm -hmm. Eat it too. Yeah. Stop it. No, please. No. Let me take a look. No. Hey, come here. If you don't stop screwing around back there, this is what I'm going to do with you. Oh. 
What's the matter? I don't know. What's wrong? I don't know. I just don't feel so good. Are you hungry? Fine. Class starts at nine o'clock in the morning. I'll be fine, you know. Boy, you look much better already. Uh, kindergarten, six year olds. That's why I quit teaching, you know. I got so sick of other people's kids. I was afraid that I'd never want to have any of my own. son. He's 13. I remember when he was five. He lives with his mother and stepfather. <coughs> What's the matter? What is that? Oh, excuse me. I forgot to tell you. This is my ferret. He doesn't bite. Don't worry. <coughs> second thought, take the gun. Thank you. 
and she poisoned your hamsters. She told me all about it, and she's very sorry. And I'm sorry that I didn't believe you. But you shouldn't punch people. But she... I know. Mr. Kimball, Miss Schlowski will see her now. John Kimball, your new kindergarten teacher. We were expecting a Miss O'Hara. There's been a change of plan. Four weeks into the new semester, my superintendent told me I had to replace Mrs. Hagley, a kindergarten teacher of 25 years' experience, with an undercover police officer, and he wouldn't even tell me why. I don't suppose you would do me the courtesy of filling me in. I can't do that. Oh, you can't do that. I'm watching you. All I have to do is tell my parents that you're here for something to do with the police. And they'll yank their kids out of this school so fast we'd have to close the place. And don't you think I won't if I feel my children are in any danger? They're not in danger. I assume you have some teaching experience. They wouldn't have sent me otherwise. Just wait here a minute. someone special to help. This is Mr. Kimball, your new kindergarten teacher. Now let's everybody say good morning, Mr. Kimball. Good morning, Mr. Kimball. Good morning. They're all yours. I'll be watching you. Hi. How are you? I'm very happy to be here. First, I would like to just get to know you. ask you a bunch of questions and I want to have them answered immediately. How many of you were born in Astoria? Come on, raise your hands. Let's see them. Okay. Hmm. Now, anyone that was not born in Astoria, somewhere outside like California, raise your hands. Yes. I need to go in the bathroom. Okay, you can go. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Yes? I need to go in the bathroom and I can't get these things off. Get someone to help you. I'll be right back, okay? You've learned that the E is often silent when it immediately follows another vowel. Now write and say these words in which... Yes, 
can I help you? It's not a problem. Mr. Campbell, I need to go real bad. First day? Yes. I'll take care of her. Thank you. You know, kindergarten is like the ocean. You don't want to turn your back on it. No, they're okay. Don't worry. Everything is under control. No. Monsters! That's supposed to mean. This is how to be a lot better than you. Is she? Is she really? My mom's a teacher in the school, and she's a lot better than you too. Great. On Monday nights, my mom tutors, and Mrs. Quinn takes care of me, and she's better than you too. Great. And Frank and my swimming teacher. And Gus, my t-ball coach, are better than you, too. I really appreciate your honesty. You happen to know someone that is not better than me? I don't know that many people. Of a man teaches kindergarten. He's obviously gay. No, no, I don't. 
A male kindergarten teacher is just not what I'm used to. Samantha calls him the giant. There he is. all your lunches? You mean you eat other people's lunches? Stop it! Now we're going to do something extremely fun. We're going to play a wonderful game called Who is my daddy and what does he do? Yes? Is your daddy a fireman? He's probably big. Is he a wrestler? Is he a basketball coach? No, 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 no. I have a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor at all. What I meant was, you tell me, who is your daddy and what does he do? Ooh. Get it? Okay, we start right here. You. My dad repairs red cars driven by women who have pinheads. My dad doesn't do anything since the crash. My dad gives money to people that doesn't have money. And then people use that money. And then they give other money back and they give the same amount of money back to my dad. My dad doesn't live with us anymore. He lives in New York and drives a taxi. My mom hopes he's gonna die real soon. My dad watches TV all day long. My dad works on computers, and he's um, the boss of his company. And um, he has a mustache and a beard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He doesn't have 
has a mature because and he his head is so big that he can't wear any hat. My dad's divorced. My mom's divorced. My dad um is a psychologist and he helps people that are hurt or lost their feelings and um that's it. Our mom says that our dad is a real sex machine. Good. I don't know what my dad does. I haven't seen him in a long time. He lives in France. My dad is a gynecologist and he looks at vaginas all day long. Mi papá trabaja en la casa y él juega conmigo mucho. Thank you, very good. Okay, next, uh, what's his name? Read this back to me. His name is Zach Saab, and he doesn't like anyone to talk to him. He's a poo-poo head. Yeah, he's a poo-poo face. <laughs> he's a cock-a-poo-poo. Three possible suspects, one likely. You have a picture. Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, here. His name is Zach Sullivan. What do you think? Yeah, he's cute. Doesn't anybody eat around here? Listen, he's a dead ringer for crisp. Look. Maybe. Come on, John. I'm hungry. Yes, Mr. Chapman, a table for two. Yeah. Thank you very much. Start. 
Okay. I want the ribeye steak with mashed potatoes and the large green salad. Oh, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to start with the spicy chicken things. Oh, they're not the tiny bitty ones without meat on them, are they? Actually, it's quite a large serving. Ah, good. Oh, good arms. And a large bowl of the clam chowder. Uh, and the blueberry pie with ice cream for dessert. Yeah. So, I've been trying to get to know the parents, but some of them are avoiding me. Well, some of the parents are like that. It's a strange town that way, especially with new arrivals. What do you mean? Well, I think a lot of people that come to small towns are trying to get away from something, or they're hiding something. Like what? Well, for example, what brought you here? Me? I thought it was an opening for a kindergarten teacher. Yeah, but what made you become a kindergarten teacher? I mean, it is a bit unusual. Well, Bob John is a bit unusual. Yeah, well, well, you are. I was born in Austria. My father was a teacher. My mother was a teacher. So is Ursula. Yeah? So we have a tradition in Austria where we follow the footsteps of our parents. So when I moved to this country, I got a job teaching geography and physical education in Arizona. And then I coached basketball at an all-girls school in Rhode Island. But. None of it made me really happy. Why weren't you happy? Yeah. Why weren't you happy? <laughs> well, I got tired of teaching teenagers. Because by the time they came to me, I felt there wasn't much I could do with them. I realized that the real action is in kindergarten. And how long have you been teaching kindergarten? It's my second day. <laughs> <laughs> shopping. That is your job, and I'm stuck with it. Yeah, you are. That's right, I am. Look, you're gonna be out of here in a few days. You told me yourself you had a few good leads. You're gonna be back to dealing with junkies and murderers in no time. They're pushing me around. The kids, they're walking all over me. Listen, Kimball, you gotta handle this like any other police situation. You walk into it showing fear, you're dead. And those kids know you're scared. Ready? 
Wait for it. Wait for it. Sit down. Ready? Go quickly. Begin to wait. Go. Go for it. Yes, very fast. Good. Quickly. Bring the toy back. Bring the toy back to the carpet. Bring it back to the carpet. Quick, 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 quick. Back to the carpet. Quickly. Emma. Emma, get the toy back to the carpet. I'm not a policeman. I'm a princess. Take your toy back to the carpet. I'm not a policeman. I'm a princess. Take it back. Ticks. Too much homework makes me sick. When it's time to pass the test, kindergarten is the best. Alex is his name. Where is he? 
He lives with his mother. You see, his mother and I, we are... Divorced, I know. What's a divorce? It's when your daddy gets to live someplace else and comes over to take you places, and your mommy says he's a deadbeat. No, it's when that daddy doesn't want to see his little boy anymore. But that's not what it is. Don't you want to see your little boy? Was he bad? No, he wasn't bad. It wasn't his fault at all. You see, his mommy and I, we just met. Just start reading. Okay, why don't you all lie down? Okay. Good, and rest. If you were a bird and lived on high, you'd lean on the wind when the wind came by. You would say to the wind when it took you away, that's where I wanted to go today. Where am I going? I don't quite know. What does it matter where people go? Down to the wood where the bluebells grow. Anywhere, anywhere. I don't know. Just get this now. 
I'll be right out. Oh, thanks. He came all the way up here just to surprise me. And he made me my favorite. Pasta a olio. Mm. I love you, Henry. I love you too, Phoebes. Uh, well, I've got to head back tonight. I've got to work. Henry's a chef. I'm a chef. You're marrying a chef? I'm marrying a great chef. That figures. Give me that. A great chef. First time in it, you're a genius, Henry. Not just a good chef. Yeah. Well, listen, it was yeah. nice to meet you. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Thank you. It wasn't, it wasn't over. You really, you don't think that was over? A little too. No, I'll bet you. I'll bet you. John Kimball, I'm Zach's teacher. No, he's following me. Hi. I've been leaving messages on your machine. I'm sorry, things have been kind of hectic. But what about now? Uh, go for a little walk, Zach. Your teacher and I have to talk for a minute, okay? I suppose you saw the bruises on Zach's legs. My husband has started counseling about this. He's been going for three weeks now. Please don't bring the school system into it. It'll only make matters worse. He's beating you too? I mean, if he wasn't going to counseling, I could see the point of saying something. But I'm sure there's not going to be any more occurrences. You won't say anything, will you? Please. If he does it again, I press charges. Zach Sullivan and his mother I'm aren't related, related to Chris when I just found out. Oh, well, I got a bottle of wine for your big date. Oh, it's not a date. It's not a date, I know. But we don't want Joyce to think that, huh, do we? Thanks. I don't think it's a good idea. Why not? The quickest way to slip up doing undercover work is to start doing things that you normally wouldn't do. Wait a minute. Do you mean to tell me that you wouldn't take a bottle of wine to a woman who's invited you over for dinner? Of course you would. You know you would. And flowers as well. Here you go. She'll love him. Please. 
sir, and I'll burn a hole right through you. Okay, be careful. Oh, don't shoot. <laughs> don't shoot. <laughs> I put up these lasers to protect us. Protect you from what? The bad people. Do you want to see something else? Dominic to bed, he mentioned you had a son too. That's right. But now I'm divorced. I'm very lucky because my ex got remarried to a very nice man. He's very really good to my son. I get to see a lot of him. What about your ex husband? Does he see Dominic often? Uh, no. After the divorce, he moved back to France. Well, what about child support? The alimony? I mean, does he take care of you? Sorry about being so personal. I was so glad to see him go. I didn't worry about that part. Dominic doesn't even remember him. I prefer it that way. Are you sure? Yeah. Why? Well, Dominic was talking to me about having to move around a lot to keep the bad people away. Bad people? You said something about that he had to leave in the middle of the night and leave his toys behind? Oh, God. I thought he'd forgotten about that. I'm sorry. I didn't want to upset you. It's not your fault. Truth is, my ex-husband is a walking nightmare. He didn't leave us. We left him. Found out where we were, and he tried to kidnap Dominic. He doesn't know where we are now, and I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Dad is in France. He doesn't live nearby. He doesn't live in France. I told Dominic that he lived in France. I didn't know who my ex-husband was when I married him. I was young and stupid and I made a mistake. I don't want Dominic to pay for it. Look, nobody around here knows anything about this. I can't even believe I told you. Four mothers. 
mothers. As a matter of fact, you had two mothers. Unfortunately, the first one died. I knew it. <laughs> Okay, let's take a break. Come on. I want you to walk around in a circle. Go. Start. Come on. Well, Joyce's story about the house checked out. It belongs to a guy in San Diego who only uses it for two weeks during the ski season. She's got under $1,000 in the bank, no safe deposit box, no stocks, no bonds, no other assets under the name of Joyce Palmieri. Her teacher's salary is less than what I make, which is pathetic. Keep looking. Check for offshore accounts. On Dominic's name, see if she there's doesn't any money live like a woman with millions of dollars. She doesn't even seem the type. Kimball, this might not be her. It's got to be her. Why? Because she doesn't want to have anything to do with her ex-husband? I know it's her. You know what I think? I think you want it to be her. You really like her, and it's scaring you to death. Excuse me! Surprise! Ladies! Ladies, surprise! Obviously, I'm not into baking cakes, so I bought these little things to donate for the raffle prizes. Who the hell is that? So? Well, she's the one I was telling you about. Her husband ran away with another guy. It's been terrible for her. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, I forgot to close the door to the basement and Zach had a bad fall. The doctor says it looks much worse than it really is. You're sure, you all say the same thing. The kid fell down the steps. Don't they have anything better to say than that? It's true. Look, I don't have to justify myself to you. You don't have any right talking to me like that. How you doing? You must be the Mr. Kimball we hear so much about. You hit the kid, I hit you, you bastard. Oh, you're not worth it. I'm pressing charges against you. seem to like it. 
I thought the use of your police whistle was outrageous, but... It's all I could think of. Please allow me to finish. Sorry. But it worked. I have no idea what kind of police officer you are. But you're a very good teacher. Thank you. Now, will you tell me something? Don't lie. What did it feel like to hit that son of a bitch? It felt great. Yeah. Well, uh, tomorrow morning, bright and early. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's her. And there goes our goddamn case. Tell O'Hara and Kimball their witness is dead, so Crisp is gonna walk. We want their asses back here. We got a lot of other cases to clear. O'Hara says they think they've located the wife. They located the money? She said they're looking into it. No oh, bullshit. Have them tell the wife we're letting Chris go, and he knows where she is. If she wants police protection, she better come up with the money. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm sorry it took so long, Colin. Hey, you're looking great, though. Something up here, like some log cabin in the woods near a lake. 
kids love that outdoor kind of stuff. I'll be in the pharmacy, Cullen. Try not to step in anything.
Choice, Dominic! seen in the last seven years. I don't mean anything to him. My ex-wife got remarried. She doesn't want me to be part of his life. I lost my family. I should never have let it happen. Why are you telling me all of this? I don't want to lose you. Dominic. I swear you will never have to run from him again. about something very important. So I want you to pay real attention to what she has to say, okay? Remember, no fear. Thanks. Yeah? Boys have a penis, girls have vagina. <laughs> Wow, you taught 
of the basics. That's important. Okay. Now, today, we're going to talk about something else that's really important. Today, we're going to talk about strangers. Like, let's say you're at home, and a stranger knocks on the door. You should never answer the door. Never. Because we never talk to strangers. Okay, why don't we all say that together? We never, never talk, talk to strangers. strangers. Right. Okay, let's How about say... kids? Can we talk to kids? Yeah, it's okay. You can talk to kids. That's all right. What about dogs? Can we talk to dogs? Yeah, you can talk to dogs. That's okay. But what you can't do, what you must never, ever, 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 ever do is... Never talk to strangers. On the kindergarten level, we try to emphasize the three C's. Caring, courtesy, and courage. Courage. That's my philosophy, too. Are you a single parent, Mr. Green? No, my wife had to stay behind in Phoenix to complete the sale of our home. She asked me to check out the local schools before we committed to buying a home here. Most kindergarten children can't read yet. My son can. Really? He reads at six. That's good. And writes. I've told him myself. He sounds like a very special child. Yes, he is. He's a great athlete. Here's what you've been waiting for, the kindergarten. Have a look. Check it out. Right. Because they come and probably fire through. Kimball, the hallway's full of smoke. Okay, this is the fire drill. Come on. Come on. This is the real thing now. Just the way we practiced it. Two by two. Come on. Go out there. Fast. Just the way we practiced it.
It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. It's okay. I'm a fireman. I help people. Where's your hat? Don't you recognize me? Mm -hmm. Gee, you know, it's me. Don't you remember Twinkle, Twinkle, little star? Little, little. See? We have the same kind of hands. Don't you remember? I'm not my father. My father lives in France. Oh, your mother told you that, but that's not true, Dominic. I'm your father. I've been searching for you for five long years. Help! 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 Dominic! Father, you're gonna have to learn to trust me and do what I say. Do you understand? Please. Oh. Don't you know the building is on fire? I thought it was another trail. Yeah. Well, get out. Yes, sir. Thank <laughs> you. 
my grandson? I don't know. Where's my grandson? Go to hell. That's where you're going, you son of a bitch. Don't eat jello. I'll come back later. Hi. Hi, how you feeling? Not much better. How about you? Yeah, I'll live. Man, you gotta check out of here. This stuff will kill you. Just don't throw up with me. <laughs> I'm not gonna throw up on you. But I am gonna kiss you. Maybe. Thanks. Thanks, partner. Thank you. 